Meet Tucker. In this video, you will watch as Tucker gets his blood pressure taken using two different methods during a typical visit to his veterinarian. The left side of the screen will show the measurement being taken with the SunTech VET20, an oscillometric blood pressure device. The right side of the screen shows the measurement using a Parks 811B ultrasonic Doppler flow detector. As the veterinary technician meets with Tucker's dad, she explains to him that she is going to check Tucker's blood pressure as part of a routine checkup. Each blood pressure method requires specific equipment and setup. The Doppler method requires a blood pressure cuff, pressurizing bulb, pressure relief valve, aneroid manometer, Doppler crystal, acoustic gel, razor, and headphones. The oscillometric method requires an automated blood pressure monitor and a blood pressure cuff. As the technician sets up, you will notice the VET20 requires significantly less effort to prepare Tucker for his BP measurements. Often for Doppler, the technicians will perform the measurement in another room, so you'll notice that Tucker's owner has left the room in this case. Additionally, another technician has come in to assist in the Doppler reading on the right-hand side. Once the technician has connected the properly sized cuff to the patient hose, she simply powers on the device, selects large dog, and presses the start button to start a reading, while making sure the cuff on Tucker's limb is at heart level. On the right side, you'll see the technician shaving Tucker's fur. Trimming or shaving the fur, while usually not appreciated by the owner, can help get a more accurate measurement when using the Doppler method. Next, the technicians apply acoustic gel to the shaved measurement site and attempt to place the crystal over the artery. Extra attention is needed to make sure the crystal is placed right over the artery. As you can see, Tucker is a little unsure about all this attention. While the technicians continue setting up the Doppler, let's look back on the left side. Keeping the animal still and calm is the best way to get an oscillometric BP reading. The technician will take three readings and average them to get a value for Tucker's blood pressure. Selectable averaging can be done right on the VET20, eliminating the need for a calculator. Besides systolic, the oscillometric method also provides values for diastolic, mean arterial pressure, and heart rate. The technicians on the right side have sized Tucker for a blood pressure cuff and will now reattempt to use the Doppler crystal. She is reapplying the acoustic gel. The gel is important because it conducts the ultrasound waves to the crystal. Gel is placed on the concave side of the crystal, and once it is applied, the crystal is placed firmly against the skin above the artery. The technician will now turn on the Doppler and begin to listen for this sound. The sound can be frightening to the animal, so some technicians prefer to use headphones. The technician is now ready to begin manual cuff inflation. While the other technician holds Tucker still, the first technician inflates the cuff to around 180 millimeters of mercury and slowly deflates the cuff while listening to the Doppler sounds.
After getting the first reading for systolic pressure, the technician marks the value and repeats the measurement. She will take a total of three measurements. On the left side, you can see that the technician is just about to complete the last of three BP measurements with the VET-20. Next, she will access the device's memory, tap on each reading to select it, and then hit the Average button to easily get the average of the three readings. Now all she has to do is record this value in Tucker's chart, take off the BP cuff, and power down the device. On the right screen, you'll notice that the technician has just completed the third Doppler reading. She now begins to take the cuff and probe off Tucker. The technician needs to find the average of the three Doppler readings. She goes back to the patient chart for the systolic values and uses a standard calculator to determine the average systolic value which is then recorded in the chart. Doppler does not provide diastolic, mean arterial pressure, or heart rate. Now the technicians will clean up the exam room and put away all the equipment used with the Doppler, while Tucker waits patiently. Before calling Tucker's dad back into the room, the technician cleans the gel off of Tucker's limb with a cloth. Now that they are done taking the blood pressure measurements, Tucker's dad is called back into the room. Tucker did great. What a good boy. This has been a demonstration of two very different methods for measuring blood pressure. On one side, we saw the SunTech VET-20 oscillometric blood pressure device which automatically inflated and deflated the cuff and recorded the blood pressure values. The VET-20 gave the technician a value for systolic, diastolic, and mean arterial pressure in addition to heart rate. Finally, the technician was able to easily average the measurements using the built-in selectable averaging feature. On the other side, we saw the ultrasonic Doppler flow detector. After shaving Tucker's paw, applying gel, and manually inflating and deflating the cuff, the technicians were able to get three values for systolic blood pressure. Doppler only gives values for systolic pressure, not diastolic, mean arterial pressure, or heart rate. The technician manually calculated the average value. For more information on the SunTech Vet 20, please visit our website.